we are out of control in the digital world because there's too much information. Our efforts to gather content together is trying to bring order within all of the chaos. And so even though these, all these objects in this image portrays it very well, can seem very random, they are, they are a good faith effort at starting to try to make sense of the world. And just as I explained with the cetology thing with, with Ishmael and, and Melville's Moby Dick, just as you might start with a kind of disorderly order, uh, not a really refined order, or it can, it can even be an out-and-out -out inaccurate ordering, it, it is showing faith in ordering. And today, because you can open up your cabinet of curiosities to the entire world, um, there is this uh, virtuous openness that then allows us to improve upon even our meager and perhaps only semi-accurate ways of categorizing and understanding the world. So what I'm doing right now is, is defending the somewhat miscellaneous nature of online curating and collecting. And uh, sometimes it's very idiosyncratic. And like I said before, it, it may do more to uh, reflect how someone's personality and their pet interests are than how the rest of the world is. But that in and of itself is not necessarily bad information because people are a very important way by which we can order our understanding of the world. And one of the key principles in the digital age is the power of the personal. So when we create content and when we curate content online, it enhances who we are, um, both in the sense of it, we learn things and we help to define ourselves by understanding our own interests and in a more external way other people understand who we are. It becomes part of our ethos, part of our personal brand. And of course that then leads us to think that hmm, maybe we want to use a little bit of care in how we are um, curating the world. 